Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi, and today we are going to transplant our strawberry plants uh, that we had grown from, you know, strawberries. So if you've seen my previous video, uh, I had taken a couple of strawberries, sliced them, and just planted them in the soil, and they grew into these strawberry plants. So now it's springtime. So I want to transplant them so that they get more space and uh, uh, probably bear some fruits uh, in the summertime. So I have this planter here. I have a uh, uh, lot of compost because uh, any fruits, you know, they require a lot of nutrition. So it has a lot of compost, uh, some perlite and some cocoa peat uh, to make sure that the soil stays a little bit uh, uh, damp or light to drain it uh, nicely you know the water should clog uh, into the uh, planter so i'm just going to separate them out i'm not going to plant all of these because it will be too much for this planter basically i wanted to find out if uh, you know if you grow uh, strawberry from the uh, strawberry plant from the real strawberries will you get fruit or not so that's what I am trying to do here strawberry is actually supposed to be very invasive if you plant it in your garden uh, it can pretty much take over your garden so you have to be careful you know where you plant it so that's why I'm just planting it in a planter so that it is contained so I have kind of spread it out so i'm putting more strawberries than you normally should be putting in here in such a in a small container in this container but i'm doing that so that you know uh, because we have disturbed them quite a bit not all of them may survive so then if i just put one or two and then they don't survive then we have to start all over again so instead I'm just putting all of them and as they start to grow, I'll thin them out. So basically now, you see there are five clumps. So I just want to make sure that all the roots have gone inside. And now, you know, just imagine this versus this. So they'll get much more space and uh, they should be growing pretty nicely. You should water it a little bit. And then uh, strawberries like uh, a lot of sun. But for now, because we just transplanted it and we have shaken up the roots quite a bit. So they may be in shock. So I'm going to leave it in the shaded area somewhere under the trees and maybe in a few days I'll move it out in full sun and uh, uh, let's see how it grows. So we transplanted these uh, one week ago and they seem to be doing fine. Our strawberry plants have grown quite big and now they have started to develop these shoots and that's how they invade your whole garden because these shoots will develop uh, roots and they'll make new plants. So we transplanted these plants uh, in last spring and in the summer we didn't get any fruits and um, I kept them in my garden tent over the winters and uh, now the next spring has come and look at these. They are developing so many flowers and so many small strawberries. Look at this big strawberry. It is turning pink now. And there are other strawberries also, which are a little small. Look at this now. 
and you know the others are growing as well it's ready to be picked up and this one is also turning pink and there are so many others that are growing and uh, this container is sitting outside it gets three four hours of sunlight direct sunlight and uh, uh, i keep the soil moist and that's about it so it's a great project to do with kids you know we started with a strawberry like this and put it in the soil and uh, we got the saplings and then we transplanted them in these and it takes some time though so it took me uh, about a year to get this uh, so you know sometimes kids get frustrated but still it's a nice project to do at home so i hope this video was fun for you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time happy gardening